my royal fam it's your girl queen b here and i am back with another video in a new location because it's wash day and chill y'all so i am about to read on my hair orange of course maybe a little more measure this time um but of course y'all see all of this growth and everything um of this girl so i have to lighten all of this so i can have the whole effect of having the whole head colored so y'all just gonna come along with me on the process of re my hair and all of that good stuff i'm gonna do a different technique this time because when i said last time i did miss a few spots and i'm back um of course because i can't really see but i'm gonna try a different technique to see if that works or maybe i didn't do this last time i'm just gonna be more thorough um, so yeah, y'all just gonna come and watch me. I can really find a good setup. Um, could be in the bathroom. It's just hard. But we gonna make it do what it do. So, keep on watching. <music> shine color in the color junior blonde i got these from sally's because it was cheaper there than they were at the beauty spa store for like two dollars so yeah um this is the color i've been using on my hair since i've been dying my hair um when i went blonde i was using this so this is how my hair like all the time because it you know bleach you love that then the colors i have Cajun Spice, this is already been open because it's from the last time. I have Orange Blaze, I also use this color last time. I have Truly Red, which is I used a little bit of that last time, but I'm going to use a little bit more this time. Then I have more Cajun Spice because that one's almost out. Then these two are new. I didn't use these ones, but I have sunrise orange from my door and then i wanted a yellow because i'm trying to mix red and yellow together to get a more orangey color so i got um this kiss funky yellow color um because for some reason a door at the beauty supply at the beauty supply store i went to didn't have a yellow option so i had to get kiss and this is um it doesn't have it pretty much got the same ingredients as the door because i like the door because it's not harmful to the hair or nothing it doesn't have any bad chemicals in it so yeah gotta keep it safe when when you're doing your hair natural hair you gotta protect it at all times um so yeah we have one two three four five different colors here that we're gonna put together to try to get some form of an orange red orange okay fingers crossed because i know three of these is gonna make orange okay so with the or with the red, more red and the yellow, I don't know what that's gonna do, but it's spring, bright colors are in. Whatever I end up with, I'm gonna be happy with because of my hair. And it's not like I'm not afraid to cut it off because I've been itching to cut it off. But I really wanna lock my hair, y'all. That is the real thing. I, by the end of 2021, my hair will be locked. I keep pushing it off and procrastinating. I was supposed to do it two years ago. Last year I just keeping it off but it's gonna happen so stay tuned but yeah um i just took out my cornrows because my hair was braided down for wigs i've been wearing wigs for like the past three weeks so i just took those out detangled my hair and everything um and all that good stuff now i'm about to section off for the lightening process and then i will come back to y'all so 
we'll see y'all next time. Okay, y'all. So I have sectioned my hair into four sections. One, two, three, four. And now I am about to get the first bottle of um, hair dye color, whatever you want to call this, the blonde color. Um, I'm about to get the first bottle ready. Um, and the first bottle I'm still using the back of my hair. Or I'm not gonna do my roots yet, so I'm gonna use it on my the like first half of. Let me show you. So I'm probably gonna use it like on this part down as far as the black goes, and then see how much is left after that, and then use the second bottle for like the roots of my hair and stuff, and do touch ups. Um, I'm gonna change my shirt because I don't want to get it messed up or anything. Um, because it does get kind of messy when you're putting color on your hair. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna come back after everything is ready to go and get the process started. So, see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back after a scheduled breakfast break. Cut the color all mixed together. Once again, this is that. And we just like to get to work. So it's probably been about 10 15 minutes. And this house looking, so it's coming along. Get back. Get back. Just doing what I need to do. Okay, so I am back 
I definitely let some of my hair for like 45 minutes to an hour probably. I kept putting more on because I kept noticing spots that weren't lightening like I wanted them to. But this is what it's looking like. I got light enough considering I'm going like a bright color so it doesn't really need to be extremely light. Um, but yeah, I'm about to wash it out my hair because my hair is starting to itch a little bit in the back. I'm going to be using um, Avery Lucille Shampoo and Conditioner. They were featured in one of my small business videos when I first started doing it last year. Um, but this is their newer collection. So these are different products. So make sure y'all check them out. Um, beautiful business, beautiful family, just great. But yeah, I'm going to wash this out. And then um, let it towel dry this a little bit before I start to do the color process and all of that stuff. So I will come back um, after it's washed out to let y'all see how the curls are looking. Be back. Okay, y'all. So it's time to wash my hair. We doing it um, old school style in the kitchen sink. You know, how your mom used to do when she used to wash your hair when you was younger. Um... As y'all can see, my hair is colored. Well, not colored. It's lightened at the moment. I have to rinse this out. Uh, process on how this all happened will be one of my YouTube channel. But to wash my hair, I'm going to be using Avery Lucille's, okay? Bomb products. Bomb family. Just all around beautiful. So, we're going to be using the conditioning cleanser. That's the shampoo. And then for the conditioner, it's the Silky Smooth Leave-In Conditioner. I know it says leave-in, but I'm going to be using it just as a regular conditioner because... I still have to put the actual color on my hair so I'm gonna have to wash my hair all over again after this but for now the initial wash we're gonna be using these two products these are both from her new line that she just launched like a couple weeks ago so yes 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 and I have used her products before her first line bomb smelled magnificent just all over bomb so I'm very excited to try these products out so let me smell the, the shampoo they smell so good like when i tell y'all like they just smell so pretty i love the smell of the first line but this one smells so great too so oh, we about to get into it but yes Ooh. this is how my hair is looking as you can see i use a lightener or a color that doesn't really it's not supposed to damage the hair it's made for black hair and it's not supposed to damage hair which I appreciate. And I didn't really focus on getting my hair so light because I'm putting orange over it so it doesn't want to So I think I'm gonna shampoo in sections just to keep my sections because I need them for when I do what I'm doing later. So we're gonna try to make this work. I'm using warm-ish water, not too hot, not too cold. I'm gonna start this section first. And I always dry my hair with a t-shirt because it does not snag my hair.
I just went the first shampoo out and this is how my colors are looking okay very much still intact very much moisturized very much looking luscious okay what I'm gonna do is shampoo one more time just to make sure I got all of that lightener out because I don't need that sitting in my hair extra extra long um and then after that I'm gonna go in with the leave-in as a regular condition i might let this sit for like five ten minutes and then rinse that out and then i'm gonna come back so one more time for the shampoo and this is the consistency of it so you can see I did better as far as getting it back this time. But yeah, after I rinse this out, like I said, I'm gonna let it air dry. What's that? Well, t-shirt dry for about 20 minutes, then I'm gonna start doing the color. Okay. Okay, y'all. So your was back. Okay, hair looking lighter. Okay. I really got it light back here, and I was not expecting to get it that light. Like now that I know, now I know if I ever wanted to go platinum, I definitely could pretty much get there um so what i'm about to do is mix these colors up in my bowl and we'll get it popping first first i'm gonna do the truly red and the funky yellow to get like an orangey color and then i'm gonna add um
the other three colors, the other ones that I have. I'm, I'm gonna hold off on the Kingdom Spice because I don't know if I'm gonna use them yet, but the other two I'm gonna use. So, I forgot a spoon, a little bit of spoon, and then I'm gonna show y'all the process when I come back. Okay, yeah, y'all, I am back. Excuse the noise, they outside. Um, more grass. So, shake this up. <laughs> I'm very excited. Like this is a new experience. Well, not a new experience, but we'll see. So, cool. Can you see? This is like really good though. Okay. So I don't know what this is. That's how much yellow I put in there. It smells like, I don't know. Now, I'm gonna take this truly red. I'm trying to make orange, if I didn't say that already. And red and yellow make orange. What's the way to yellow ratio? I don't know. Let's go get it. Now I'm gonna take my spoon. Yeah. I think I need a different bowl. Different bowl. Spice the tongue, I guess. No, I kind of want it to be white and not red. Right? So we'll say that. So, um, we'll say that for the fall. But, let me see what else with this is giving. It's giving red orange. It's giving red orange. So. I'm trying to get it so y'all can see. There we go. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Because uh, 
It's not even what it was supposed to get in. Okay, let's see. And I do use my hand for this simply because it's just easier that way. You use your hand. <laughs> it's too late to turn back now. Do -do -do. Look at it. I don't know what it's giving me the camera. That's the one for I'm already in it on the floor. And I do let like this get in my hair. Whoa. It's giving. It's giving what I need it to give. Period. And of course the ends are going to be like kind of darker because they were already darker. I did not re um, color my ends because I didn't know what they were across this time. Look at that. I don't know if I can see it. Okay. It's been, it's giving. It's giving y'all. I'm just not even what I do in section three. I'm just going to do this on camera and the rest I'm going to do, well the other two I'm going to do off camera and then I'm going to come back and do the last one on camera. It's on my neck. I see there's some areas that are kind of dark. But it's really giving what I needed it to give for the most part. Look at it. Can y'all see? There you go. Look at it. It's getting y'all. Okay. Let me come back. Before I can press the button. Let me come back. Um, I'm going to finish. Okay. So the color is applied. I did two coats. I'm going to let it sit for like 30 minutes. The first coat. Then I did the second. I'm going to like touch it up. This is how it's looking. Definitely more ready this time. We just kind of on it.
and I have been making a mess. But I'm gonna let this sit for another 30 minutes. Um, my brother wants me to dye his hair, so I'm about to do that in between. After that, I'm gonna take a shower and this out. I don't know if I'm gonna sit on the sink or the shower time. I know I'm gonna make a mess in the shower. <laughs> but we'll see. And then I'm gonna deep condition it again. And we'll be there, ready to go. Okay, y'all, so I am back. This has been sitting in my hair for at least two hours now. Cause I told y'all I had to do my brother's hair for him. And I was like, why not let it sit? So this is how it's looking. I'm about to go rinse it out, get in the shower, wash my hair and everything. But it's definitely giving me redder, which is, okay, this is how it looks like. So I'm like definitely giving me more red vibes. I was feeling like windy. Mm. But yeah, very cute. And I did the thing that I said I was going to do where um, I went through on the ends with the actual like red and like tried to give it like an ombre effect kind of. But yeah, I'm going to rinse this out. Wash my hair again in the shower. And do it. And I'm going to wash this out in the sink before I get in the shower because if I wash this out in the shower, the shower's going to be red, red, red. But if I wash it out in the sink first, then get in the shower and wash my hair, it's going to be red still, but it's not going to be as red, you know? So, I'll be back. Okay, so this is how it looks shown. Partially rinsed out. Um, I haven't, like, physically washed it. I just rinsed the, rinsed the color out. And this is how it's looking to me. Oh, it's cute. But let's go wash it. Okay, y'all. So, I am out the shower. Okay. And I made a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you I made a mess. Even with rinsing it out in the in the sink hole, I made a mess. But your girl is a red hair now with like orange other turn on uh, orange other tones and I love it. It's so bright in person, which of course is gonna fade over time, like but I love me, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, like I'm just only getting better at this dyeing my hair stuff and I love it. I love it. I'm about to go moisturize it now and all that good stuff. I just wanted to show y'all the results. But I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.